everybody. So um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to focus on answering some probability questions using a Venn diagram. So if you have not seen my video on how to set up a Venn diagram, it's probably a good idea to check that out first. In this video, we already have our Venn diagram done. We're now going to use it to answer some questions. So the kind of the name of the game with uh, answering questions using a Venn diagram is just knowing what the questions is asking and then just finding the right part of the Venn diagram that you need. Okay, so we're still using that same example from earlier where we had students who either played sports or were in the school play or they're in both. Okay, so we have our Venn diagram here. What we want to know is what is the probability that a randomly selected student does not participate in sports or the school play? So always important is setting up the notation and really just knowing what it's asking about. So if they're saying the probability that a randomly selected student does not participate in sports or the school play, what they're really asking there is they're trying to figure out what's the probability that they have no sports and no school play. So they do neither. Okay, they do neither. So when I look at my Venn diagram, this entire circle represents all the students in school that play sports. This entire circle represents all the students that uh, do the school play. This part in the middle is those that do both. And outside of both those circles would be the students that do neither. They're not in the sports circle and they're not in the school play circle. Okay, so there's really nothing we need to do for this problem. We just fill in our 11, which we got from setting up our Venn diagram earlier. Okay, pretty easy. My next question here is, what is, a what is the probability a randomly selected student plays sports or is in the school play? So let's start with notation. I do see my keyword of or there, which makes me think about adding. Um, so we're gonna say play sports or school play. Now, kind of the, the deal with doing Venn diagrams is, yes, there is a formula that you could use to answer this question. But the route I kind of go with probability is I like to visualize things through tables, Venn diagrams, tree diagrams, something. So you don't really need to pull out the formula on this one. You just have to think what does or mean. Or means add up. So we need to add up all the instances that are either sports or school play. So as we work through here, first number we see is 0.48. This represents students that play sports. So that is included in our probability. So I'm gonna take that 0.48, put it down here in the bottom. This next number, 0.15, that represents students that do sports and the school play. So when you ask the question, hey, do they do sports or the school play? Yeah, in fact, they do both. So we're going to add that 0.15. The next number, 0.26, that represents students that only do the school play. And that follows what we're trying to look for. They play sports or the school play, so plus 0.26. This 0.11 represents students that don't do sports and don't do the school play. So it would not fall under play sports or school play. We aren't going to include it. So we just need to add up these three numbers, and that represents the probability that you select a student that plays sports or the school play. So if you play, take 0.48 plus 0.15 plus 0.26, you get 0.89. Okay, that's a way you could do that without a formula. There are ways to do this problem using the formula, plug it in probability of A plus probability of B, subtract uh, the probability of A and B. Could go that route. I just try and avoid formulas. I think visualizing Diagrams is the way to go with probability. Our final question here with uh, Venn diagram probabilities is, given that a student is in the play, what is the probability they play sports? So the, the word that jumps out to me is given, okay? So we're given the knowledge that it is already someone who is in the school play. We want to know the probability that they also play sports. So notation here, we're going to have this symbol, which represents given. We want to know the probability that they do sports given 
they are in the play. They do sports given they are in the play. Now this one is a type of problem that you can kind of visualize what's going on. So what they tell us is that we are in the school play circle. We're in this entire circle. I already know this information, okay? We are in the school play circle. So this 15 and this 26, the size of that circle is 0.41. So we're locked this circle. I need to know, given that they're in the circle, what is the probability that they play sports? So inside the circle, which of these numbers represents playing sports? That's that 0.15, okay? This 0.15 represents students that do sports and the school play. So you can think of it kind of like a pie. I have this whole pie, and we need to figure out what piece of the pie represents playing sports. Well, this little sliver right here, which is 0.15. So we're going to take 0.15 divided by 0.41, and I would use a calculator for this. I already have the answer for us is 0.3659. Okay, so that was a quick rundown of how to take a situation, make a Venn diagram, and answer some questions about it.